welcome my dear friend to our reflection number two on celebrating God. In this reflection, I want us to talk about the God of relocation based on the book of Genesis chapter 12 verses 1 to 3. God tells Abraham to move from point A to point B and he will possess something. That is my point. In every level of life, there is always the next level. But for you to be moved, you need to work on a few challenges. One is laboring by others. Sometimes we are so much weighed down by what people think about us. What people talk about us. Remember, you have no capacity. You have no control of what people think about you and what they speak about you. There you have no capacity. The other area that you may need to work on is the area of the heritage of defeat. When we feel that our life is jinxed, when we feel that nothing is happening in our life, when we feel that we were meant for doom. You've heard people say that for me, every month of July, I get sick. For us, in our family, we do not get married. For us, in our family, we do not get children and so many other things. For us, in our family, we do not do well in business. This is the time and this is the place where you come to believe in God radically. And therefore, you must learn to speak blessings in your life. Even if you are coming from a family that has challenges, you must tell God, yes, I know. I am coming from a family that has challenges, but for me, I know that mine will be different. That is where you start to do the necessary prayers to move you to the next level. Because, as I told you, you need to be in touch with God as you move from one area to another. Please always remember, God has your agenda at heart and he wants you to be happy. The question is, are you prepared to move and move with him. He is the God of relocation, a God who wants to position you somewhere and give you a good gift. Believe in him and prophesy goodness in your life and be ready to be moved to the next level and possess the goodness of the Lord. It is only then that you transform your life into a song of thanksgiving and you know how to celebrate God for who he is. As for me, I can assure you my prayers all the time. I remain your priest and servant, Father CK, asking you to join me in the next reflection. Thank you.